Scott Harris will tell you he never expected to start his own college. The entrepreneur dropped out of UTSA in the mid-90s to create and sell e-businesses, retiring by the age of 35. But for Scott, the easy life just didn't hit the spot. I love learning new skills. There's a lot of skills that I have yet to learn. Such as? Tactical driving. Combat medicine, weapons training. There's over 40 classes at Survival College. Yeah, Survival College, a summer camp for the self-reliant with instructors Scott brought in straight from the front lines. They train military, law enforcement, special forces. You see the movies and uh, you see the, the shootouts and you see the guys walking in. These guys really were there. They've done that before. I'm in awe of these guys. It's a little bit like getting a tennis lesson from Serena Williams. If Serena Williams was a 24-year Air Force vet with a beard and an AK-47. Shoulders forward as we do this. For Ken Lewis, the most important weapon in a survival situation is composure. Can I find food? Can I find water? Okay, I, I can last longer. I can survive longer if I've got water, if I've got shelter. Or a semi-auto shotgun. <laughs> well, it depends on what the situation is. I mean, your semi-automatic shotgun may not be the best weapon of choice if you are carjacked, for example. Sadly, Vehicle Ambush 101 wasn't on the Media Day itinerary. However, there were plenty of other lessons that Scott says are worth learning. It's like an insurance policy. I want to be able to learn all these skills and know all of this in case I ever need it. And if not, there's always detonating bombs with sniper rounds. That's going to be a mixture of fun and entertainment as well as serious hardcore learning. And that's what Survival College is really all about. And that's what Survival College is really all about. Now, like most colleges, tuition at Survival College isn't cheap. Expect to pay at least $700 for one day at the school and nearly $2,000 for a full weekend. Classes start May 22nd, but the registration deadline is April 8th. If you'd like to make the grade on Streets Corner, you can follow me on Twitter at Streets Corner or like us at Facebook.com slash Streets Corner. JT Street, Fox News at 9.